Hello and welcome to Mr. Tim Talks. ABC 3 in 3. The ABCs of Pratt Altars, three points in three minutes. S is for strategic. Firstly, the general strategy of the prayer altar is to draw the presence of God and to push back the darkness and bring transformation into lives and lands. In uh, Isaiah 60 verses 1 to 2, it says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. So this is God speaking to his chosen people, saying that we are to arise and shine. And we do that at the prayer altar. It's at the prayer altar that the light of God shines in our lives and pushing back our own personal darkness as we go through the cleansing. It shines in our family's lives at our family prayer altar, in our workplace, at the marketplace prayer altar, in our church, at the church prayer altar, in our nation in the national prayer altar so it's a place of strategy where god comes to bring a transformation secondly there's a personal strategy at the prayer altar god gave moses the blueprint of the tabernacle which later went into the form of the temple and this is a pattern for us a strategy for us to enter into god's kingdom purposes to enter into the kingdom and it's talking about the temple now the temple is not as in the Old Testament, a physical building external. And that was in the Old Testament where they connected with the heavenly temple. But now it is our bodies because in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, it says, don't you realize your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God. And do you not belong? You do not belong to yourself. We belong to God and our bodies is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And there's a strategy God has given us. Word at the altar, spend time soaking in his word. Worship at the altar, spend time soaking in his presence. Washing at the altar, spend time soaking in his blood. Wanders at the altar, spend time soaking in his spirit as he lifts us up into the heavenly throne room. And that's a strategy of bringing us into his throne room so we can link in with God's kingdom purposes and bring heaven to earth, bring God's kingdom as it is in heaven onto earth. Thirdly, at the prayer altar, there is a networking strategy where God net networks like-minded people and groups who are building prayer altars together to push back the darkness, bringing God's presence and to bring transformation in the land. Just like Acts chapter two, verses one to three on the day of Pentecost, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Then suddenly, there came a sound from heaven and a rushing mighty wind and it filled the whole house where they were sitting and then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire and one sat upon each one of them just like in the temple when it was dedicated the tabernacle was dedicated the fire of god came down from heaven and went on to the altar in the same way the altar now is our hearts and as we dedicate our life and especially together we come together as a united body then god will come and the fire will burn on each individual heart but as we come together then that fire will burn brighter and brighter into the community into the place around us and i found that at the prayer altar god net networks us with like-minded people and organizations he brings us together so we can pray and see his kingdom come his will be done on earth as it is in heaven